This video is all about station retargeting, which is using targets that stay still. <laughs> so there are loads of benefits to this because yeah, they help to guide the horse forwards without you being in front of them. And they also help to keep the horse still while you move around them or in stationary behaviors, as you can see Copper demonstrating here. So if you haven't yet watched the videos on what is targeting, um, using a handheld target and following a target, go back and check those out and then come back here and see all of the uses for stationary targeting too. So because it um, helps horses to stay put, you build up the duration of them staying at the stationary target. One of the first behaviors we teach with, with it is standing tied. So this is Rasheen and she used to really panic about being um, tied up and pull back. So we taught her to stand at a stationary target first, got that really solid that she knew to stand there. And here, this is where she's learning just to have the rope reintroduced as well. And you can see that the target keeps her there while we are moving back. It also helps the horse to um, stay still in difficult situations because it should have a really positive association with it. So this is my mare, India, who really struggles with injections, doing some training with um, my fantastic vet. And um, you can see there that she stayed with the nose on the target during the injection. This is another example where this horse came to his owner, Rebecca, um, with a really strong aversion to saddles. And she used the stationary target to help change those emotional associations. So she began just by training him that um, touching the stationary target was something really fun and relaxing, and then began to introduce the saddle pad. Now you can see a tiny hint of that tension um, in this clip here where she just approaches him with it and says, hey, can you touch your stationary target? And he says, well, yeah, okay, I can do that. Because again, the targeting has got those really positive emotional associations. And um, this is where stationary targeting really helps because it does help to build up that duration. And she just worked on this gradually until he was really, really happy to stand at his stationary target while she put the saddle pad on and off and um, did the girth up and things like that. And um, it also became a bit of a, a cue for him to be able to say when he was ready and when he wasn't. So it gave him more power in that situation. Loading is another area where the stationary target is so helpful because the horse has to stay in a place on its own. Um, so this was a horse I worked with who used to panic about being enclosed, as you can see. So we began with working with a stationary target and you can see already how much that changed his confidence about approaching the trailer. And we began just at the ramp, um, asking him to stand there and gradually move the target further and further in until he could go in on his own and stand at his stationary target. Here, he's loading in and standing at his stationary target. The front is still open, so he can choose to leave if he wants, um, but his, we've worked at keeping the stationary target such a positive thing that he's choosing to stay there even while the back bar goes up. So again, this is really about giving the horse choice and empowering them. Um, and of course, in the, the home study course, you can see that she shuts the front and the back as well. So see the whole process there, but it's really helpful at that initial stage. Stationary targets are so useful for riding. So the first couple of steps from the mounting block, this is how I always begin moving on the back of, of um, when I'm horses that I'm starting for the first time or restarting, because it helps to guide them again without you being um, on the ground. So if you're working on your own, which I often am, and most of the people that I teach are too, it really helps to give the horse that clarity. So this is Freckles um, when he was a baby, when, well, he was about five, I think. Um, he's 11 now. So this was his early stages of how he was being taught to turn. So I use um, an exercise called the target square and we will walk from target to target and here I'm just teaching him to turn right by putting a little bit of right rein cue in as we move from target to target but the targets draw him in that direction. So again remember the target's always a tool to guide the horse. So here we're doing a little bit of left rein teaching um, and you can see that Freckles is so confident to go towards the target. So it keeps everybody really calm together um, and focused while you're explaining the exercise. You can also use them in riding to help give you the horse more motivation. Um, so this was uh, Sophie with Lily and Lily was very reluctant to go forwards. So what we started to do was use some stationary targets. Now you can see that on the ground, she's very happy to go forwards to a stationary target. So we just started transferring that to the riding. First of all, asking her to touch a stationary target at halt, making sure she understood the exercise and then just simply riding to the next one. And already she's so much more joyful. And this, the target, because targeting has been taught so early on and it's so clear um, and so positive, then horses do tend to love it. And it really build, brings a lot of this enthusiasm and joy in as well as the clarity and the guidance. 
So she got, you can see how she got very, very forwards. We actually had to work on just breathing and keeping it soft so that she could stay with Sophie and uh, not just rush to them. But the change in her expression is just huge. And that was just a few weeks apart of adding in this new game. You can use them as well for going over poles and jumps. So this is Bobby learning to um, free jump to a target. And again, it guides the horse forwards and um, really gives them that clarity of where to go. You can take this into the saddle. Now, if you're beginning, you'll just go and walk and then up to trot and canter. But it helps the two of you stay focused and forwards over the poles or jump. And it means that you know you're going to stop afterwards. So if you've got any worries um, about uh, confidence or anxiety or your horse rushing, it really helps to keep that nice and calm. And again, this is me with India. I'm taking it into the field and I've always ensured we stay really calm because she's a horse that can get overexcited and um, really steady just going up. She knows to go to the target, which is just out of shot there. And again, to give it the clarity and guidance, this is with Freckles doing a little bit of archery and he just follows the uh, follows the track up to the target and leaving me hands free. So again, it gave him that guidance and clarity without me needing to be in front of him. I really hope you enjoyed this video on targeting and are really inspired to go and use it with your horse. Do check out the other videos in the targeting series for more ideas and if you want to know exactly how to use it then do check out the Connection Training Club. This is an online membership site and we have all of these home study courses and these have hundreds of videos in that give you step-by-step -step training lessons on exactly how to train all of the things that you've seen in this video right from how to introduce the target to um, using it for de-spooking or for loading, for riding, for lunging, for free jumping. All of these bits are all in the um, home study courses. We also have loads of other pieces too in the club. So you can get support through the forum and the Inside Track blog, which has extra videos and audios for members only. You can join Rachel and I live in our um, Q and A's and access all of the Q and A recordings as well. We do monthly fun challenges. We've got coaches and just loads. You can meet up with other members, loads of really fun stuff. So if you want to find out more and join our really warm, friendly, and supportive and fun community from all over the world, then go to connectiontraining.com. You can find out more about us there. And if you click on the tab, learn CT online, join the CT club, you can find out more information there and sign up. I can't wait to see you there.